Okay guys, so in this uh, video I want to explain how you could put a cool video together for your generate phase and for your final product. Remember, this is not compulsory, this is just something that you could add, it could be an added skill that you could use outside of school, which would be really cool. You could put one of these um, links one day when you go for a job, you can actually show well, I've done this, this video, you can add it to your website, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and we will be building websites and design, so something that you could add. Again, not compulsory, but what we'll be doing is we're going to be looking at um, sourcing free co or copyright uh, music tracks that you could use, how to source them where and how to use them, um, free editing software um, that you can all have access to um, on one platform, which is a bonus, or you can use other, other editing software, so we'll discuss that, and then how to upload to YouTube. And the material of like what you're filming is up to you, and um, we're going to discuss that as well. So you're going to break it down into to different steps of how to put a little video together. So let's begin. Okay, so now let's look at a couple of different across-platform sort of little video editing apps that you can use. There's um, Premiere Rush, there's KineMaster, WeVideo, InShot, iMovie. Also we'll look at Stop Motion, and we'll look at YouTube. We'll be using YouTube at the end. So first, let's look at your camera. What we're going to be looking for on your iPhone is the time-lapse option. You can see if you scroll down on the right, you get all these different slow-mo. Time-lapse will help you actually speed things up. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, you've got an Android. A nice way of getting a time-lapse going is by using your stop-motion app. So how you create a time-lapse is by changing your setting so it's going to take every five seconds it'll take a shot or every 10 seconds it'll take a, a an image and then it pieces all of those images together and that's how you can create your time lapse you can create a slower or faster time lapse depending on what you would like to do so if you have a look here you can see how quickly it goes now imagine if this was for your generate phase or to showcase how you are making your final product Set your camera up, keep the camera steady, and let it record like this, and you'll have a great time lapse to add into your video. Now let's look at your editing software, InShot. InShot's quite a cool cross the platform for Android and app. Don't worry about any of these offers it gives you, or adverts it shows you, you can use it for free. Choose the videos you want to use, click yes, and then have a look at how what all these little adjustments They'll give you time things to flip your canvas, flip it the wrong way around, rotate it, um, and you know, so you can add all sorts of little things into it. You can add text, which is quite cool. The text is easily, uh, you, can, you can change the kind of font that you use, the size, the color, all that kind of thing. You can place it anywhere, um, so it's quite lacquer. Once you know how to use this, it's got different kind of filters. And, and then music. Music is quite lacquer. It's got its own library of music on it, so that's quite lacquer. You can go and you choose. This is all copyright free, so you don't need to worry. Um, once you like a song, you just press download. But please note, you have to use all of this information in your description of your, your song when you down, or your, your video when you download um, to YouTube or upload to YouTube, rather. So please just read that information, add it in. You're basically giving credit to the artist. So it's quite cool. You can lengthen it or shorten it, add different clips, splice things. Once you know how to use this software, you actually can use any other platform. It's got little watermarks. Don't worry about the adverts. Um, and then to upload, you just say save. Now with saving, don't delete all your other videos that you have on your camera because it'll affect this. Um, film. Don't worry about any of that, just click close and all the adverts, ignore the adverts, try and have your all these other things downloaded, don't, don't go to classroom, I recommend go to either Google Drive and from there go to your classroom or go straight to YouTube. Now straight to YouTube is the best, sign into your account and then that's and from there you can share the link to your classroom. Okay, I'd like to talk to you about the music that you're going to add to your video now. There are various different options. YouTube has their own audio library, which is really cool. Just credit your source and the artist and all that kind of information in the description section of your YouTube video. Another option is Royalty Free Music by Ben Sound. Again, you can use this, these um, clips, but you must also credit Ben Sound and information on the artist, etc. 
you'll see that they actually even ask you please to credit bensound.com and work that kind of thing. So just read the instructions. Next we have Audio Library. Audio Library's also got a great selection. Again, you have to go and check out, double check that you can use it. It says free download, that's great. You just need to credit the artist. Next is Trap Nation. Trap Nation has some really great music guys, but if you have a look, you'll see that sometimes when it says royalty free, you actually need to ask the artist's permission. Um, and then sometimes if it's copyright, then there you need to just credit the artist and that kind of thing. Have a look at the information that's provided. So how to find the right information. If you look just above sub uh, subscribe on the right hand side of the video, you see like a little arrow. Click on that arrow and scroll down, it'll give you more information. Um, and then read through that information, a download link, all that kind of thing. But when it says doesn't have any copyright, read what it asks you to do. It's asking you to credit the, the artist or contact the artist. And there's some amazing art music out there, but you just need to do that and then you cover yourself. Okay, so then once you are finished with your editing, let's go to YouTube. Go to your account on YouTube. You can upload straight from your app, your editing app, to YouTube, which is the easiest. Now to edit, you can see the edit video. And I press on that and it'll take you. This you should do on your big PC or your iMac. It's not, not easy on your phone. Um, and you can then choose your thumbnail. Yes, it's safe for kids. Um, you can see there's different things like ask you about age restriction. Um, and then it gives you options for hashtags, which is quite cool. So just have a look around the, the, the different options that you have. And then eventually it says they're public or unlisted. So public is great because people can then search for your, um, your content. Or if you want to keep it just between the link to me directly, that's great. And then you press save and then you're done. Thank you so much, guys.